Hey there guys, it's Silas from TepidTGaming.com and welcome back to Retro Wednesdays. Right, I want you to remember this logo because it's going to come back later on in this video. Welcome to Cool Spot. This is the US version of Cool Spot. I will explain why as we delve in, but let's start the game and see where bad things happen. Right, as you can see, this thing is littered with 7-up related materials. And you can kind of guess why. This is one of those 90s games which is based heavily on the idea of Well, if the kids like video games, then they're going to love our product. And it's non never been more prevalent to me than this game. As you can see, you crash land your 7-up bottle on a beach in my randomly selected video game country and you're armed with soda. I am using 7-Up as a weapon here. Right, so basic synopsis of the idea of this game. You are cool spot. You're a spot and you're cool. That's all you need to know. Why are you cool? Because you wear sunglasses. 90s logic, people. 90s logic. And basically, you and you are the only survivor of the Spot Kingdom. All the other spots have been captured and put into cages. This includes, and this is what I meant by this will all come back in a minute, the Virgin Spot. Uh, you probably know it's published by Virgin Interactive. Now, the only reason I can see Virgin agreeing to do this game, other than the fact that it's work for them, is, well, you know our logo's the same, it's just a red spot, so we can market two things. And thus Cool Spot was born. Now, I've already got the message to go and find the cage to free my friends, and that is generally means you've got enough of these cool points to complete the level. However, what I want to show you, which is where I believe marketing Nirvana occurs, is the bonus level. Because, as with all good games in the 90s, there was a bonus level. And I'm sure you've noticed a little in-joke at the bottom of the screen there, the cheat code books. They don't do anything. They're just there to reference that, yes, this is a game and not a hour-long advert. I don't know a single player who ever believes that. Anyone who's ever played Cool Spot will agree, it's just a 7-up ad. And look how you heal yourself with 7-up. Conveniently. That's what passes for a checkpoint. I do, I still love the, uh, the little music it plays when you raise a checkpoint. Oh, look, more 7-up, must heal myself. Yes, heal yourself by giving yourself diabetes. That's a good idea. Drink a heavily sugared ba heavily sugary beverage. Right, as you can see, I've just found the cage, but I need more cool points to unlock the bonus level. Because, like I said, that is where the most obvious marketing is applied. And you'll, you'll see why when I get there. On cool spots. How many more cool points do I actually need to unlock the bonus level? I can't remember. This is one of those games where, when, like, little Salis was playing this, I loved it because it's the, one of the few games I could actually, you know, beat at the time. But now that I'm significantly older and have a lot more of what some people have described as cynicism, I can see this exactly for what it is. An advertisement clumsily disguised as a video game. There we are, I've unlocked the bonus level. Let's go and free our friend. A friend, he's not that good, he's getting, he's getting lost. There we are, we now have two, two of these annoying little red dots. I never know what this means, coolness bonus. I don't know whether it means the fact you've managed to get all the cool points you need to get it, or whether you just did it with enough style. 
Personally, I like to think it's the second one because it means I'm awesome. Right, here is what I mean by flagrant marketing. Now, as you can see, I'm actually going across a 7-Up label because the bonus stage takes part, place exclusively inside a 7-Up bottle. But, it's what comes after the bonus stage that I find the most reprehensible. I'm just going to get up there first. I can't remember the route. Focus, Sally. You gotta do this as a kid. And if your idiot self can manage it back then, I'm pretty sure your idiot self can manage it now. Uh, yes, by the way, I am actually using soda as a means of transportation as well as a weapon in this game. All these things here are bubbles inside the soda, which I find ridiculous given that. Later on, you can't actually swim as Cool Spot, but you can exist perfectly well inside soda. Water deadly, soda good. And thus, another point towards why this is just a bad idea. I mean, I don't know where the 7-Up and Virgin were just like, you know what, we could make a TV ad which would illustrate exactly this using an animated cartoon of Cool Spot. Or we could try and make some extra money by tricking people into thinking it's actually a game. I like this though. When you uh, run out of time, you smash it. Right. In the US version, it spells UNCOLA. Which, obviously, was 7up's slogan back then. But in the UK version and the European version, it spells VIRGIN. So, thus, it kind of reinforces my previous statement about how it's just one big advert for both. Because Virgin claim the spot is theirs in the UK version, or at least the European version. And 7up are basically, you know what, it's our spot, it's on our bottle. Deal with it. What makes me laugh though is in the European version. Cool Spot is still surfing on what is clearly a 7-Up bottle in the uh, menu. There's no escaping it. It is a 7-Up bottle. It's green. It's got... And there's a red spot. There was only one thing that came in bottles with a red spot on it at that time that would appeal to children. I'm not entirely sure if there was beer back then. I wasn't quite old enough. Nor was I old enough to care. I was just playing video games. But... We bought it. Because back then, this is what passed for high entertainment. Throwing soda at crabs. And spiking and putting a spike up your ass, apparently. Which I would have much rather done instead of having to find this amongst my collection now. There we go. Put the flag up. This is one of the levels that always used to annoy me because... You can't see what's below you. So when you're trying to use these ropes, you get like that happening. Crabby Crabster over there. And I've got to go back up. Another thing that annoys me. It's deliberately misleading you so you waste time, end up with a timeout, and then you have to start all over again. Because unlike now where everything auto saves all the time, 90s games did not have that privilege. Right, so I've just done the fine cage option and died. Not so cool now, are you, Spotty? Oh. Avoid the flies at all costs. Oh, these guys are evil. They take so much soda to kill. Why am I talking about killing a fish with soda? So these are the kind of games I played, people. There's a reason I'm so crazy. There's a reason I'm a complete idiot. <laughs> There's a reason I'm doing this show. I'm being punished. I'm being punished for the 90s. There we are, I've got some seven up there like crap. That's where seven up comes from, kids. Inside crabs. Of all kinds. 
because this is a very indecisive design choice because you saw the crabs in the first level, they look nothing like the crabs here. They, they don't even look like they are crabs. Because generally you see a crab, no matter what kind of crab it is, you can tell it's a crab. Because crabs have certain things about them. Not just a big pair of claws. Granted, that's a factor, but it's not all that a crab is. I need that extra time to find the cage. Checkpoints. Die, crabby. Eat soda. Ah. Oh, God, he's goldfish, boy. Okay, can I just point out, right? If you saw a fish sticking out of a piece of wood in a puddle, would you shoot it with soda? No! And you know why? Because you'd be calling Ripley's Believe It or Not. Because you found a fish that can swim in wood. Thank you. And uh, by the way, I am going to admit to you now, I'm, I'm proud to admit to the YouTuberverse that this blatant marketing ploy resulted in me drinking so much 7-Up as a child. Yeah. Of course now I can't stand the stuff. I just reach for the nearest can of cherry coke and get on with it. What is it with this dockyard that just flies everywhere? They're supposed to smell of fish, not shit. Unless you've got a really shitty boat in there. There we are, level over. This is, by the way, all the game is. Shoot things with soda, collect red dots, free, three other cool spots. Again, what makes them cool? They're wearing sunglasses. It's the only thing. But I will say this, the music is fantastic. This level is going my favourite level, music-wise, of all of them. How cool does that sound? Not to mention, it does actually kind of look pretty impressive. Although, the mice are throwing cheese at me. I don't like that. I am being attacked with cheese. So you know I'm lactose intolerant. Now, these, these mouse traps can hurt you, but they can also do something really cool if you jump on the other, the other side. I'll show you. Here we go. Hey! Catapult! Soda Beach Cheese. Eat soda. Catapult! Every time you go off screen, it resets, so I just used to spend ages playing with it. As you can see as well, I'm actually able to deflect their cheese attack with my soda attack. Thus proving soda better than cheese. Although, I, I don't get why I can fire through walls. Surely, if you throw soda at a wall, it's going to hit the wall. Oh, I get double my 7 up. Clearly, I just bought the big 2 litre bottle. <laughs> Come on, Spider Boy. You've been soda. Hello? See ya, mice! Die! Okay, going up. There we go. Die! 
Die. Never like spiders in my video games, they're always ridiculous. Ground floor going up. And I died by cheat. Can someone just put down my grave? Here lies Salis, sadly killed by cheese. And I also want a little sign next to it saying you must be this high to grieve. Hi, mouse boy! I love playing with the mouse traps on this. It's a sub. So Splat. Hello. It's down here. Oh, a cheese mouse. Cheese mouse. There we go. Find the cage. Oh. Keep going up. Do you see how much hang time I got on that mouse trap then? That was brilliant. I am so trying for that again. Right, go off screen. Kill it, cheese mouse. No, I'm not going down. I want to get hang time again. Hey, that was even better. I don't care that I died, I got some awesome hang time, so I'm happy. Dude, these catapults are really good. I know they're most trapped, but that's brilliant. Ah, oh, you can't do it when there's a wooden wall in your, in your way. That's a shame. Oh well. Looks like I've just got to use the same one again. Wrong way. Now, you, you can probably hear that I'm picking up these core points when I'm, like, behind things. That's a problem with this game. There's a lot of these core points that are hidden behind stuff. Like that. Like, I'm picking up right there. And you don't know where they are. You can't see them. There's no way of telling that they're there. You just have to kind of like look everywhere. Easy. There we go. Right, let's go find our friend. Ah, don't hit me with cheese. It's not nice to play with your food. You know, if you burst a spot, it's only going badly. I'm playing as animated acne. Yeah, I'm skipping over this mouse. Wait! Ah. No cheese for you! Have oh, some of that. Oh, yes, checkpoint is good. Checkpoint is good. Checkpoint is good. Spider's down. Cheese boy. You are out of it. Suck it, cheesy. It ain't easy being cheesy. Die to my magic soda. <laughs> there we are, level complete. New time. Quite a good bonus. But I'm not cool enough for an extra life. Right, this will be the last level I'm going to show you because this level is evil.
Now, as you can see, a lot of these have taken place in a bathtub. And, of course, Cool Spot can't swim. So your entire means of movement is based on things that are floating on the water. And, obviously, the frogs are your enemy here. Why they blame the frogs. And that's another problem with this level. You have to kind of, like, leap of faith for most of it. And you don't know if there's an enemy coming. You don't know if there's a rubber ducky coming. You don't know anything. But the other half of this level is up here. In the sky. Above the pool. So if you fall, chances are, splash and death. That was not such a perfect example because that one barely saved my ass. You can tell I'm getting really frustrated with this game because I haven't played this in a long time and I forgot how bad it was slightly. But now I'm playing it again, it's all come flooding back to me. Oh, there we go, over the spaceships. Powers of soda! Whoa, no, no! Oh, I'm having some very lucky falls. Trying again without death this time. Or at least without falling. Who has all these like blimps and spaceships just hanging around in their bathroom? I know it's his toys, and I know it's got surfboards in the back, but you're in a bathtub. And I can find the cave now, so we're okay. But I'm right back at the start. Damn! It sometimes he doesn't flip jump, and that's really irritating. But at least I don't have to cry. At least I don't have to bounce across the bathtub anymore. Well, I suppose that's a plus. One saucer, two saucers, three saucers, blimp. One saucer, blimp. Soda! Where does this take me? Okay, so wait for that to come back. Come on, magic soda bubble. I'll just clean my sunglasses. As I wait for the soda. Nope, not having any of it, are you? Oh. oh, I was holding my breath then because I thought, oh god, here we go. There we are. Right. Soda power. Da! Da! Yeah, I'm having like, major issues now because this is the one level I hate the most out of the entire freaking game. And I'm using the term game in a very, very loose fashion, by the way. Okay, I'll rephrase it. In the entire interactive advert. It's over here, is that? Da! Right. Over the, over the flying saucer. Onto the blimp. Cross the soda. Onto the blimp. Onto the saucer. Onto the rocket. Onto the blimp. Saucer, 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 blimp. Saucer, blimp, soda. The one thing I will praise this game, quote unquote, for, is unlike other platformers of its era, this thing isn't just go left, go left, or just go, go in one direction. They do actually give you the option of changing direction. Granted, as long as you don't, as long as you're there getting their product promoted, they don't care. Which hopefully that should have reset it. Yes, it does. So it's obviously somewhere up here. 
otherwise there would not be a rocket there. Right, try and just drift over here a bit. Oh, for... Ah! Yeah, I, don't, I can't even remember how to finish this level. I can't remember where the cage is. All I know is it's somewhere. Oh, I'm lucky I've caught in that soda bubble. Whoop. I've got like, I'm on my last life here, so if I die, that's the end of the video. I should stop saying words. Yeah, there is a reason for collecting those letters. Each one is a continue. You only get a continue if you've done the bonus stage. So actually, that's kind of a good idea. Good job I died. But I think that's where I'm going to call the episode because it's been going on for a good long while now. So until next time, I've been Silas, and I shall see you next time.